I hope you agree with me that sometimes we need the rain to take care of our cares, like it's doing right now. So sometimes we need the rain to wash the pain and the cares away. But I hope you also agree that no matter how dark, we always have a sunrise. So we're all going to be waiting for the sunset and the sunrise. My name is Art Mezu. I want to thank Joni and Liz and Ohana for inviting me today. Many of you here know Byron probably all his life. I got to meet with him and spend time with him only for six days. Just six days. It changed my life. That's why I'm here. I want to share part of that. Okay. I was so nervous about coming today. I was very nervous. And, and the reason I was nervous is because I didn't know what to say. That's Byron up there. You're right, I might be here for the sunset. Mayor is coming here at 4 o'clock. I need to introduce him because he has no idea, folks, that it was his doing a year ago that led to why Byron went to Japan. So I need to share that with him because he's clueless about that. Today, I was nervous. I blew it two times. First of all, I got up. I almost wore my red Aloha shirt to come to the west side. No good. So I changed it to this blue shirt. Okay? Another thing I did, I was so nervous that I spray the hair spray under my arm. That's how nervous I was. But I'm glad I'm here. And whenever I come to the west side for anything that's official or event like this, and when I travel to the mainland or wherever I go, there's two things that comes with me. And one of them is around my neck. This is the Alilea Shelley that was presented to me by Tutu Ani down the street. So whenever I travel, this Alilea goes with me. Okay? Today, I added another layer of lay here. This, if you look at the program, look at the program, folks. The shirt that he's wearing is the very first time I really met Byron. He knew that he was going to Japan for some musical thing. He had no idea. So we met at Kukui Grove. He came with the ladies behind me. And I took him straight to Macy's because I wanted to get him an Aloha shirt. Lucky thing, it was a blue shirt, yeah? Because he would not wear a red shirt. No way. And Lucky thing was on sale, $21. Had it been on sale, he would have not been wearing this shirt, okay? And another thing, if you look inside the program, if you see he is wearing a kukui nut, Lay. You, you see that? If you look at the program, that lay is what I'm wearing today. Because he gave that lay to me on the last day where we were there in Japan. Because he wanted my shiny black kukui, not lay. So we did an exchange. Okay? So this is a very special occasion. I'm wearing this. But this, after my little long, short speech, this is going back to the family. Because I was just sharing this for today. So I'm gonna have this come up in a little while and present this to you. For people who don't know, I've been on Kauai for 39 years. And the reason I came to Kauai 39 years ago, believe it or not, is because of a singer that I met in 1975. In 1975, I came here because I wanted to play music with this singer 
who I believe at the time was the best singer that I ever worked with. So I moved here in 1975. He lives in Tekaha, originally from a place called Pakala, Camp 6. His name was Vasilio Bulgarian Boogie. And he's the reason I came here 39 years ago. So West Side is very close to me. Without West Side, I would not be on Kauai 39 years ago. And after that, who do I meet? 16 year old Doric Yaris. I call him Dwayne. Dwayne. And you know, as a musician and a composer, I am blessed to, to have all the entertainers and talented kids, especially on this side. You know, Stacy Taniguchi, another Pakawa girl I got to work. Rola Libre, she's right here. Aldrin Guerrero, when he was 16. We did a song together. Pua Mohala Kaholakula, another Pakala girl. Nick Castillo, when he was 16, we ended up being in the studio. This song went number one. I can't take their credit, I just write songs. They sing it and they take it to another place. So I'm very blessed to be here today. I tell you what, and I'll make it really short because this is very important. One year ago, I was asked to go to Japan and the mayor and I were supposed to go. He couldn't go. We went. I went. And we went with several people. While we were there, we got to meet with a brand new mayor of Moriyama City. So he asked, we like to share Hawaiian music, the hula, the mele, with the people in Moriyama. That was one year ago. This year, in February, my wife receives a call from the mayor and says, we need to have some of your young generation to come to, to showcase your hula and mele and ukulele. The reason, because the mayor, when he was here, he got entertained by Bernard Trovalio. He know he's an ukulele. He sang. And there was all these ladies singing at the party. So the mayor of Moriyama thinks Hawaiian music is only ukulele. That's all he knows. So in June, we decided we got to put together a group. And I borrowed my wife's company's name, called Hawaii Rainbow, who stands behind me. They represent four different halals. I may be breaking protocol, but rainbow is all different colors, yeah? So in June, I needed a ukulele player who can sing. I called up Kahano Smith, I called Nick Castillo, they're all going to Japan. All because of probably Doric. And they're not gonna be here. So I'm in a bind. This is a true story. In June, I walked into the mall at Kukui Grove, sitting, having my sign in at that Chinese place, and in walks Auntie Mapu. She walks right in and says, hey Lord, how come you don't think in Japan anymore? It's been 20 years, come on. She gave me an attitude. So this is why I look at, you know what? You ready for a September? What? This is what happened. So luckily we got number two. We needed one more ukulele player. We don't know who. My wife just got back from Japan and we need to thank Doric. He blessed us with his Hamada to travel to Japan with my wife. All four dancers. One of them happened to be Byron. When she came back, I need a report because whenever people like Doric Anti Kapu, even Leyala, Leyali Bon, all who I work with and Dory. We want to make sure that they represent Kauai well. When they go, they mess up. It's going to be on us. So we talk. So I asked my wife, uh, so we're thinking about, like, uh, I heard that Byron is a little bit. Oh, he's good. And plus, he's very handsome. And he attracts a lot of people because of his demeanor. He's all about the aloha. And he says, anything else? He says, yes. 
Byron eats steaks. Every meal he eats steaks. Here's his husband as well. He's a man. He eats, everybody's eating fish, you know, those little wontons and stuff. No, he's eating steak from the morning. And says, I like that. So that's why we decided, let's give Byron a chance to go as an ukulele player. I never knew at that time. I had doubts. We had five rehearsals with the ladies, randomly selected to represent Hawaii. Even to the day we went to Japan, when we performed, you think we are saddened by his loss? There's 5,300 children in Moriyama City that he impacted. In, in six days he was there, he played at, we all played, performed at nine elementary schools. 5,200 plus students, all elementary kids looking up to him. When he did his ukulele solo, he ruled. We're not kidding. He's not the Byron that I thought. He was a shy, warm, tender, loving, young man. And he went up and killed. Seriously, just performed his heart out. So right now, as we're grieving here, can you imagine the 5,000 plus elementary kids in Japan when they heard that Byron is no longer here? Think about that. He's a hero. Remember I told you a story? Listen up, folks. This is kind of, see, the mayor doesn't even know this. Last year, his good new friend, the mayor of Moriyama, came to Kauai, and we hosted a party for the mayor. His name is Mayor Miyamoto from Moriyama. At the party, as you know, our mayor, who is multi-talented, he picks up the ukulele, starts singing, and all the guests at this party start dancing. So Mayor Miyamoto from Moriyama goes back to Japan, told his staff, we are gonna bring hula dancers, singers, and ukulele only. No guitar. Because of the mayor, he goes and plays, and the mayor thinks that ukulele is the only instrument to accompany the hula dancers. This is what happened. So, you know, we need to um, give it up for our mayor because he has about six other events, but he's here two hours earlier. And he's gonna read, I hope not the whole thing, but he has a proclamation how special this young, gentle soul and a talent of Liz. Liz son, as I promised, first of all, I am going to uh, present back to you, because this is where it belongs, this kukui nante, um, from Byron to me, but that was on a loaner, I believe, so you'll get it back. And also, on behalf of the Kauai Rainbow, oh, and the, where's the man? Here? Oh, Ron, Ron, come on up. Please come on up, Ron, Orange, please come up. And, yeah, and first of all, we, we had this little shirt made, you know, that's the thing, and we just found one two nights ago, one more, so we're gonna present this to the family. From the girls, you can, you're welcome to open that up. Um, hold on one second. By the way, this is a Moriyama bag. That's what it says, Moriyama. I'm gonna tell them that you gotta change the color to blue, okay? Um, this is a shirt and um, we have the kukui nut and we're gonna ask Ashley, who was friends with Byron before we started, uh, to present it to the dad. Is that okay? There you go, we're giving it back. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 